All right, so today in class, we learned about looking at the relationship of ratio tables and finding the value of the ratio to help us write an equation that then we can use to solve different problems. So we're going to start with the information from exercise five. Malia is on a road trip. During the first five minutes of Malia's trip, she sees 18 cars and six trucks. So right there's some information that we need to know. We've got 18 cars and six trucks. Assuming this ratio of cars to trucks remains constant over the duration of the trip, complete the ratio table using this comparison. Let T represent the number of trucks that she sees and C represent the number of cars that she sees. So we're going to go ahead and fill in the ratio table. Well, right away, up in the information, it gave us some information about 18 cars and six trucks. So when I look at my chart, I already see an 18 here for cars, which means the corresponding part has to be a six there for the trucks. And right away in a ratio table, I should be able to find a pattern that's consistent or a constant that makes our ratios equivalent. So if every six trucks there are 18 cars, that seems three times greater. So we'll check to make sure that that constant will work in order to keep it the constant the same, we have to make sure that it works. One times three gives me three cars. Three times three gives me nine cars. The six times the three gives me the 18. I'm going to use 12 times three, 36. But here I have a number times three equals 60. So some of you might already know that, or you can work backwards. The opposite of times in by three is dividing by three. So I could take my 60 and divide it by three, and I would get 20. 20 times three is 60. So our chart is filled in. With that, the first question asked, what is the value of the ratio of the number of cars to the number of trucks? So we're looking for the value of the ratio of cars to trucks. So here's cars and here's trucks. And I know it's the value of the ratio because the value of the ratio puts all of those equivalent ratios into simplest form. I could list it one to three like it is in the chart. However, it did ask for cars two trucks. So the ratio would have to be three to one or as a fraction three over one. I could also write it three to one. There's our value of the ratio. What equation would model the relationship between cars and trucks? So if I wanted to find out the cars and it already told me to use C for cars, that would be equal to trucks times our constant of three. So one times three was three, three times three was nine, six times three is 18 and so on. So the constant that times three went all the way through. It stayed constant, which means that's part of my equation. So my trucks times my three is going to give me my amount of cars. Now remember the three T together in algebra, we don't write a time sign. It's the same as saying that the cars is equal to three times the amount of trucks. But the time sign starts looking like another variable or a letter. So we don't, we're trying to get away now while we're in sixth grade of writing it this way. It is the same thing, but we want to focus over here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Another way you've also seen it is with a raised dot to show three times the amount of trucks is equal to our cars. So to wrap this up, 
It says at the end of the trip, Malia had counted 1,254 trucks. So there's some key information. 1,254 trucks. How many cars did she see? Well, right here has a formula that says in order to get cars, which we let stand for the letter C, all we had to do is do three times as many trucks. So if I look at my cars equals three times the amount of trucks that showed us is 1,254. When we do that math, we're going to find that the amount of cars is equal to 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1. 3 times 5, the 50, is 15, plus 1 is 6, carry the 1. 3 times the 2 of the 200 is 6 plus one more is seven, and three times the one, which is in the one thousandths, is three or three thousand. So our final answer of cars is three thousand seven hundred sixty-two. And that is our final answer. So we have taken a ratio table and taken that information to find the value of the ratio and in this case, it wanted cars to trucks, which is 3 to 1. We realize to get cars, we take three times the amount of trucks. And then we can substitute whatever information they give us. And in the final problem, they had us solve for 1,254 trucks. So ratio tables to the value of the ratio, find making an equation, and solving that equation.